Hello and welcome to Jericho's Intuition, where we try to introduce the sheer joy of creativity and innovation into our everyday meals. Today we are making Nigerian meat pies and this is the mini meat pie for kids. I made this meat pies, this mini meat pies for my two-year-old nephew's birthday party two years ago and the kids absolutely loved it. You only need one secret ingredient for this meat pie and that is patience. If you notice, meat pies are hardly served at parties at small shops because it's not easy for the kids to handle and it's something we love because of its buttery flaky crust which is tasty on its own and the feeling is like an icing of the cake for them come along with me to my kitchen let's learn how to make this <laughs> These are all the ingredients that we are going to be needing for our mini meat pies and I'll drop a link of ingredients and their measurements in the description box. So for this recipe I used 4 cups of all purpose flour that is equivalent to 500 grams of flour and to that I am going to add 1 teaspoon of baking powder, 4 tablespoons of sugar, half a teaspoon of salt and i am going to mix all of my dry ingredients together until it is well combined if you are using salted butter or margarine for this recipe then you can add a quarter teaspoon of salt or completely omit the salt in this recipe so i'm adding four tablespoons of sugar because i want this crust the meat pie crust to have some sugary taste not too not too sugary because it's not a lot of sugar but it's for kids and come on <laughs> they love anything that has a little bit of sweetness in it okay so now after stirring my dry ingredients together and making sure that they are well combined i am going to dig a well in the middle like so and to that i am going to incorporate 250 grams of butter or margarine now this 250 grams of butter i have cut them up into pieces like this and i kept them in the fridge so it's very very rock solid cold okay not frozen but very cold you know what i mean and we want our butter to be of this consistency because we are looking for a bread like crumb kind of dough after mixing the butter and the dough together so you want to go in with your hands or if you have a butter masher then you can use that now this is what we want our dough to look like after mixing it up with the butter and this recipe will give you a very flaky soft and delicious dough trust me so now i'm rubbing my hands together to get rid of the excess oil so i can work freely with them i dig a well in the middle like this and i am going to go in with one egg the other egg i broke in here we're going to use it for our egg wash now this recipe for this recipe this measurements a lot of people use three eggs two eggs or four eggs i've tried all of them but i love the way my dough comes out the meat pie crust comes out when i use just one egg so i have stuck to one egg now i go in make sure your egg is very cold as well and then i went in with milk i'm using a quarter cup of cold milk here and half a cup of cold milk and the reason why i am using milk is i also want some a lot of people use cold water and it's okay but i want this meat pie crust to be very delicious very tasty because the idea is we're making this for children and it's something i want them to enjoy a pastry i really want them to enjoy okay so now a lot of you are asking the questions my drop breaks apart a lot of people have asked me who have eaten my pies and when i mix it and i'm like no it's not an issue just add a little bit more water or milk for me i love to incorporate my milk in badges for any pastry the wet ingredients i love to incorporate them in badges and the reason is sometimes these measurements can go crazy on you so it's better to have less and keep adding water or 
than to have a very watery crust okay you get what i mean so i have added extra milk and i am also going to add the rest and this dough will all come together one thing about me pie is that you do not want to overwork your dough so all you're trying to do is to make sure that the dog the dough comes together <laughs> dough <laughs> that it all comes together nicely so that when it comes to rolling it will be smooth now i'm dividing this into two and i am going to keep it in the fridge for about two hours 15 to 30 minutes is a perfect time for your dough to rest but I like to keep mine for longer okay so I am going to cover all of this and keep that in the fridge and we will proceed and start making our meat pie feelings this many meat pies you will absolutely love it give this recipe a try okay I used to sell meat pie in the office and it's something I enjoy making so and, but I've not made them in a while and today I thought why not share this mini meat pies because I've not really seen a lot of it around so to make our dough we go in with our frying pan and I added four tablespoons of vegetable oil once your oil starts to heat up we are going to go ahead and add some onions and i'm using half a bulb of purple onions and i got some scotch bonnet peppers you want some heat in your meat pies it makes all the difference but this is for kids this is not so hard so don't forget you can completely omit this part next I am going to go in with my minced beef and grounded beef and I've washed them <laughs> that's why it's looking this white and this beef has some water or um, juices of its own so as it cooks up it's coming out so I'm going to add my potatoes and I dice them up at this point and I am going to season with my seasoning cubes I use the North seasoning cubes and I'll season with some salt and some thyme traditionally meat pies you don't go too crazy with the filling but these days there has been a lot of upgrade and variations but because we are making this mini meat pies for children we don't want to go too much because you don't know what child will say i don't like this i don't like that so it's better to be safe so everybody can enjoy it okay now we are going to let this cook up until it's nice and al dente you don't necessarily have to cook up your uh, filling until it's very soft because it's going to finish cooking up as we bake our meat pies and here i incorporate my carrots and i love to add some green beans all scallions green onions so that it should give it that pop of color i love to see lots of beautiful colors in my fillings now a quick tip and then you go in with your cornstarch or flour your flour two tablespoons of flour is enough to thicken this up and you want some liquid the consistency in your filling so that you won't end up with dry and airy meat pie fillings okay Nigerian meat pie is just the bomb. It's loved everywhere. It's always welcome. I've never said no to a well-made meat pie before. Now we are going to after two hours we are going to go ahead and start cutting up our pies and filling them this is the part that i talked about patience everything has been easy so far but this is where you need patience and the reason is you're going to cut this pies into little tiny mini pieces so it's going to take up extra time from you so you have to be patient with this process I divided each two into two and I am going to proceed and knead them with my ruling and straighten them with my rolling pin. I'll roll them out to get a wide diameter. Thank you. 
friends this mini meat pies are also perfect for storage in fact because it doesn't have so much feelings in it because of the size it's so easy to store in your refrigerator and then heat it up in a microwave specifically in an oven microwave sort of dries it up heat it up in the microwave and then it's up for breakfast with tea it's just perfect you can do a lot of things with this mini meat pies i have this mini meat pie cutter i got from aliexpress it's actually very tiny <laughs> so but if you do not have this why not go ahead and use up a cup or a glass the the bot the, the tip the mouth of your glass to cut up the little little tiny dough pieces that you need okay so we are going to remove the excess and keep aside and we will re need it later until all the dough is used up now for the fillings if you notice my potatoes and my carrots are quite chunky I literally forgot that I was going for mini meat pies <laughs> so what happened was I cut them into the sizes because that's how I love to make my giant meat pies with it because I love to see those chunks I don't want them to disappear I want it I like my meat pies with some texture but I had to go back and cut them into smaller pieces in fact it's still not small you know because as children cut them up into smaller pieces when making the feeling for them okay now you can go ahead and egg wash this dough what I did was straighten the dough a bit before filling it and you just need a teaspoon of your filling don't over mix them oh it uh, don't over don't put too much of the filling in your meat pie because it will close beautifully so I am going to close that up I didn't use my egg wash here but I used it for some I didn't use it for some and it still closes fine just make sure that you don't add too much feelings and these vegetables for well, this is another way of sneaking veggies into your children's food <laughs> for those who have kids who do not like vegetables this is fantastic so you roll out your dough lightly again for i'm showing you this process because it's so crucial to getting the perfect mini meat pies i'm using a spoon preferably preferably go for a very uh, for a teaspoon okay so now i am going to fill that up one after the other and we are going to form our meat pies you can use your fork to give this that normal meat pie kind of design but for this mini meat pies i find that it didn't look so pretty so i i started with that but i stopped and I'm sealing it with my hands because they look so much prettier <laughs> this way. What do you think? Do whatever suits you, whatever is appealing to your eyes. This recipe gave me about 40 mini meat pies. 40, I had three fills. <laughs> so that's about 43 mini meat pies. And that is like mind blowing because anytime I use four cups of all purpose flour, I end up with, I barely managed to end up with about 14 meat pies or I end up with about 10 if I'm making really large meat pies so even 8 depending on the meat pie quarter that I use so you want to go in and poke some holes on your meat pie some people omit this but for this mini meat pies I advise that you go ahead and poke the holes because it's actually very fragile and of course our egg wash egg wash gives our crust a very nice finishing that nice golden brown on top that caramelization it comes from the egg wise if not the meat pie will just look dry <laughs> it will look helpless unloved <laughs> so show it some love with that egg wash okay 
So look at how beautiful I have created my oven to 180 degrees or 350 Fahrenheit. And after about 20 to 25 minutes or so until your meat pie is nicely golden brown and well cooked, this is what we have. Amazing, right? <laughs> beautiful, buttery, flaky meat pie crust with moist and flavorful feelings small perfect for your kids even for yourself bite-sized pieces of meat pies this is how to make our nigerian meat pies and then this is how to make it in a kids friendly fashion when I made this for my nephew's birthday, it was gone in minutes. The children, mommy, can I have more meat pies? Mom, can I have more meat pies? <laughs> and I'm like, auntie, I'm like, no, it's finished. This was some hard work. <laughs> Thank you so much, friends, for watching. Don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you have not subscribed, click on that subscribe button and the subscription notification.